yesterday, yesterday the whole campground was full. Full. Mostly full. tent campers, which was unusual for us. We usually see camper campers, but mm -hmm. it was mostly tent campers. Should mention where we are. Uh, we're at Blanding's Landings. Blanding's Landings on the Mississippi River in northern Illinois near the Iowa border. And Galena. Galena. Yeah. It's an um, Army Corps of Engineers campground. They have how many sites? 40. 40, 40 or sites? 50 sites. But only half of them are RV friendly. Yeah. The Let's take a walk. Tents. Um, there's a train track right next to us, which is pretty active. And it's been kind of loud, but we have the air conditioning on and it's been pretty comfortable. So let me give you a long shot. There's the camper. Kind of a weird spot that you're parked on the side. But this is it. There's just like three campers here now. So we're going to take a walk down by the river. See if we can wear the dog out a little bit. And go from there. Maddie, what is it? She's very excited. There are squirrels here. It's not allowed. No. No. This is another area in the campground. This again is mostly just tent sites. And there's no electric even here. But it's got a nice view. And they do have water. <laughs> this is what was left <laughs> by the campers that left this morning. This is the part of the campgrounds here as well. We're coming down to the, uh, it says on the map, Mississippi River. I think there's a lot of variance as to what's the river and what's not. So you can see like open water and then a bank, but water beyond. So the Mississippi turns and meanders, it, uh, meanders <laughs> which we know. But that's the Mississippi over that way. So that bluff over there, inside of that is Mississippi. Now, a couple weeks ago, we were at the Mississippi. I'll put a link to that video uh, in the description here. We did do that one white always back, right? The Itasca? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So this is the Mississippi River here in northern Illinois. Now, a couple weeks ago, we were, we crossed the Mississippi River and walked across it. So I'll put a link to that video in the description below. And you can see where the headwaters of the Mississippi are. And this is the Mississippi River in Iowa, northern Illinois. We're on the boat launch. Beth is much braver than me. She went out to the pier. And it looks like somebody here has uh, left us a dog leash. What the river gives, the river takes away. We recently lost our six foot leash, <laughs> so. It was a bonus leash today. We'll wash it up and it'll be fine. So a floating dock. A lot of boats came in here Saturday and Sunday. And that's the river. Really pretty. Really hot. <laughs> so uh, Army Corps of Engineer flag, the American flag. There's Beth reading all the signs. <laughs> Follow the rules. <laughs> Stop and read COVID 19. 
And here's the directions on how to get here. Um, there's the cost. And that's about it. Yep. It says the booth is only open in the evening. So and What's everything that? is online now, so it's really easy to see what's available and what's not. Mm -hmm. And they have zero reservation day now, so if you get here, you can go online and say, oh, these are all available, we want this one, and then book it. You know? so, much easier than the good old days where it was, you couldn't book anything within 72 hours. <laughs> so. Right. Mandy likes it here. She's Very exciting. Take a walk back. Well, you may not know, Army Corps of Engineers has a bunch of properties that they're tasked with making them usable for the public. Camping, hunting, boating, stuff like that. Um, you may see it abbreviated as, what is it, A-O-C-E? A-C-O-E. No. A-C-O-E, or yep. just people say the core. And it's the, like they came in here years ago. They look right down here. Somebody planted those trees, it didn't happen that way. And the river's right there. So this was probably, um, put in to land boats for one reason or another. Um, could be just for recreation, could be commercial, I don't know. We'd have to look it up. But for us it worked out good. Um, it's also a little uh, playground and pit toilets. So I think that's why it's popular with the tent campers, because there's actual grass. So uh, really nice. Not glamping, oh no, <laughs> but not boondocking. You know, we're on 50 amp, and with the 50 amp comes air conditioning. <clears throat> Excuse me, comes air conditioning, which when it's a day like today, humid and hot, yeah, AC is nice. Yeah, so we're heading back in. So the trains go by here so often that you don't even notice them. I feel like I'm in the Blues Brothers movie. I don't remember. Seriously, the train. we sleep right oh, through them. The L train right scene. Them. Yeah, the L train. Where the whole bed rocks. I, mean, I guess I could move the camera around. The train's going by. This is my best Star Trek. <laughs> you just see it going through the woods there. You see in the aerial photos, it's pretty close. But it's a campground. All campgrounds have trains. I would say that's true. And they're all about 20 miles long.
We're at another Army Corps of Engineer campground. These are really nice. This one's right on the Mississippi. Some empty spots here, so I'm not sure how full they get, but $20 a night, you get electricity, 50 amp. A few people get a view of the Mississippi. It's got a really nice dump station. Double, so that you don't have to wait in line too much. Mark is filling up our windshield washer stuff. Playground, shower house, amphitheater, Army Corps of Engineer. Another nice campground. We like these, but they're, they're sometimes they're kind of a little bit out of the way. We're driving to another one today, so three days in a row, Army Corps of Engineer. typical road to get to an Army Corps of Engineer <laughs> campground. So far. So far. Missouri Basin. And at least it's paved, as Mark says. Indian Creek Campground, Indian Creek Campground, which is by Monroe City, Missouri. It's on Mark Twain Lake, which is a big reservoir lake that's created by the Army Corps of Engineers. And the campground is taken care of by them. This is a huge campground. This is just one of four of the campground areas. There's well over a hundred sites here. And a very pleasant surprise for us. Was full hookups. We thought we were just getting an electric site, but we've got water, we've got sewer, and 50 amps. Could have stayed here a week. But we're not because we have plans to move on. We're heading towards Orlando. And today we're going to St. Louis. So but what a nice campground and it's less than a third full now granted it is a Wednesday so the weekenders aren't here I imagine in the weekend it might be a lot busier but I think we'll be back to this one it's a great campground thank you to the Army Corps of Engineers
it looks like we're going to make it across because look at the size of the trucks coming at us. I know we're not as wide as they are or as heavy. So we should be just fine. And hopefully it doesn't take that long to get across the bridge. Do you feel the bridge bouncing? I do, yeah. Well, that's normal. It's a bridge. Usually we're not stopped on a bridge. So that's a big bridge and we'll put a link to our other bridge videos <laughs> in the description below. Um, Mackinac Bridge we went across. There's some Mississippi River bridges. Maybe we should just do a bridge video. Okay. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments if you want to see a bridge video. I'll try and find all our video, uh, our bridge video footage. And it, it, it'd be fun. Although I think most of our bridges are across the Mississippi River. We do have, let's see, we've crossed the Golden Gate. We've been across numerous bridges on the Mississippi, the Ohio. The Mighty Mac, the Invisible Bridge. The Mac, the Mackinac Bridge. That, that was invisible. And Oh, I don't know. I suppose there's a couple more. And I'm rambling now, so I'm going to stop. Okay, this bridge says it's 9 foot 6 feet wide. Our mirrors are 9 feet 6 feet, 9 feet 6 inches. So we should be okay. Right, Mark? Yeah, I think that. And I think they put the 9 foot 6 so that you don't get a wide load. Yeah. Like a guy, you know, would be wiping out the other lane where the guys are working. So they put it at nine foot six, you probably got 10 feet. Okay, well, we'll find out. Lovely old bridge. Actually, they're repairing the road. What's on those barges? Can't tell, huh? Not allowed to look. Don't look. Seriously, honey, I can't. No, I know. They're covered. The barges are covered. You can't see anything. There's your ninth foot. Space. I don't know, could you work up here on this bridge all day long with the cars going by and the river going below you? You kind of have to, don't you? Yeah. There you go. Any comments, Mark? You okay? Still driving. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I bet you expected to hear Beth's voice here. Uh, so did I. But we shot this really cool outro. Um, Beth was going to do her normal 
outro stuff like give the video a thumbs up and if you enjoyed it uh, please subscribe and all that and then we're going to cut out to this really cool drone shot but unfortunately that drone is really noisy and we had the microphone out and everything but we just didn't figure on the amount of noise that was going to be in there so instead you're getting Beth talking with Mark and a voiceover so uh, <laughs> that that's the end of our video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you up and down the road that's it for this video the Army Corps of Engineers is a great resource to find campgrounds they're a little hard to find though we'll uh, add a link to the description below to the website so you can take a look at the stuff if you like this video give us a thumbs up and of course subscribe so the next time we post a video you'll get more information and we'll see you up and down the road